Blog Talk Radio. On wheels now. Welcome to On Wheels Now, your inside look at local motorsports. And yes, this is the Racers Roundtable, where racers and race fans talk about local racing. And tonight, the one and only, uh, the host we have tonight, the one and only Mr. J.J. Nunn. Good evening. And the silent, quiet Mr. Gary Wyatt over there. How you doing? <laughs> Good, and uh, your co-host. I'm your co-host, by the way. He's JJ. not so silent when I hit his car. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see coming up, no, right? No, I'm not. And I'm your co-host, uh, Michael. And uh, tonight, you know, I am, um, you know, honored to be with our guests tonight that have created something that's going to help people uh, for a long time to come, and that's gonna, that's uh, PinkMail.org. And tonight we have uh, Brock. Um, Justin Griffith and Susan Griffith here with us tonight, and they, they are the creators of PinkMail.org, and we're going to get to them here in a few minutes. But uh, going right back to you, JJ. Uh, yeah, I got a special announcement to, about uh, there, right? to make. Uh, <laughs> I have a new addition to my family, and it makes me a great uncle for the tenth time. I want to congratulate my godchild, Jeannie. And uh, her husband, Billy Heisman, uh, they just had a baby boy, a bouncing baby boy, uh, six pounds, eight ounces, and that was Sunday on one twenty six fourteen. We have a Derek John Heisman to add to the family. So uh, I'm sure I got other family members out there. Uh, <laughs> Just want to say congratulations to everybody. Uh, Jeannie is doing fantastic. Uh, seen some great pictures of my new great nephew, born on the 26th. And congratulations to Jeannie and Billy and everybody in the family. It's a good deal. Great way to start. Yeah, great way to start. Definitely. And seven days before that, <laughs> my nephew Philip and Shannon uh, in Georgia. Had a baby girl. Wow. Yep. So, uh, Autumn uh, Dahlia. So, we got two brand new additions. Uh, didn't get to say thanks or congratulations to my family in Georgia for Autumn Dahlia, but <laughs> we had uh, Thane on. And, uh, well, yeah, that show went on and on and on. On and on and on and, and, on, and which, on. Which is a good on and on and on, of course. So, uh, congratulations got, to the uh, JJ's family there. Yep. Great to uh, Really happy. Everybody's healthy and happy, and uh, hopefully they'll be home soon. So uh, congratulations again, guys. Hey, That's good. enough. I'll you crawl know, in my corner and be quiet now. Well, you know, and speaking of family, you know, here at onwheelsnow.com, we always talk about uh, families and racing and how it's a family thing. And, you know, families can go two ways. They can be at, be at each other's necks or they can uh, be happy, but uh, it's a mix. It's a mix of different things, but it's uh, all good. Yep, yep, it's all good. And you know, we're going to touch on some stuff tonight that that might be, you know, not always good. But you know, we we hope that with if there's a, a sad tear in one eye, there's a there's a happy tear in the other one when we come out of this tonight. Uh, you know, we've got again some people here that that really extended themselves to help other people by creating this pinkmail.org. Um, and we're going to find out more about that. And we we didn't give them a chance to intro, you know, to, to say hello. Um, you know, I just introduced Brock, Justin, and uh, Susan here. How you doing, Brock? I'm doing great. How you doing? Good, good. Nice to have you here tonight. I'm I, like again, like I said, I'm honored to be here with you tonight. And uh, Susan, um, I know you didn't want to say anything, but you got to say hello, please. <laughs> Hello. Okay, we got a hello from Susan, so we appreciate that. We're just, you know, hey, we're just the easy going hey, I here. I told them, Susan. I told them. Hey, that that was big, Mike, to get her I, to do that. I did my job. Hey, I'm you know impressed. what? And, and trust me, and these guys probably feel the same way. I'm honored to have you guys here and do what you guys do. So, you know, please speak up and just say hello like you did. Well, you know, I appreciate that. And, of course, Justin. How you doing? Good, good. And I missed your uh, last show. I wasn't here. I had other things going on, so I'm sorry I missed that. But uh, 
you know, hey, I guess let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's talk about PinkMail.org and uh, what it's all about. And you know, uh, like, let's start from the beginning. What? Where did this start from? What was the conception of this? Well, it uh, started with my sister. She lost her breast to breast cancer, and uh, it bothered me a lot. And I drew this up on paper about three and a half, almost four years ago, and started developing. I started building websites, and uh, I got to the point to where I had to get it going and showed it to Sue, who's been a really, really good friend of mine, and she goes, yeah, I'm behind you 100%. It's touched my my life and my family's life, too. So we invented it so that uh, you sign up for a free email system. It costs you nothing, just like Gmail, Yahoo, and every time you send and receive an email, it brings awareness to breast cancer, and every time you click on the ads within the email system, it raises money for breast cancer, and it costs you nothing. And since then, we've added an auction to it, and we're up to 43,000 users to date in uh, about that, nine months. That is amazing. That That's is huge. Awesome. Yeah. Now, if we can get Gary to, to pitch in a dollar for each one of them users, <laughs> that would be $43,000 for you, Gary. All right. You that? No, I said oh, okay. who put something on. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's archived somewhere. <laughs> we can go back. I just right. want to make sure I'm, I'm correct on that. Yeah. No, that, that's great, and we hope that that continues to grow. But, um, you know, J.J., I know you. We, we've talked about pinkmail.org. You can also go to thebombernation.com. It's the very first thing that comes up on the page. Um, you click on that; it's actually actually a link, correct? Yes, on that banner, and that yep. will take you to uh, PinkMail.org. dot um, org. So you're going to want to do that. And again, you are listening to OnWheelsNow dot com. Uh, you know, talking about racing, but this is something that that is near to some of our hearts. That uh, you know, in one way or the other. So uh, it's close to a lot of us. Uh, yeah, in one way or another, it has affected uh, so many millions of people in the world out there. And uh, I got a question for Justin. How did you get involved with Mom uh, with uh, and, Pink Mail? And you know what? And that's going to be a tough act to follow is following what your mom's doing. So <laughs> she said some great examples for you. Really, it's just me volunteering, going to the promos, trying to promote it, and then uh, having the race car. And, you know, both of them have been so supportive on that and been there and helped me out as much as they can. So I can't. I can't hate that. No, that's something else. And, uh, of course, you you know Gary and and, uh, J.J. here. They beat up on you probably uh, once or twice out of the track. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. (laughs) Oh. 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 Just J.J. No, 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 no. I don't think I ever raced J.J. One time in prom. Yeah, when, it, when you according, came out last year. Yeah. Well, according to Gary, if you we, raced against JJ, you'll know it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you finished what, didn't you? Yeah, they were kind of running away from me, so I wasn't really around anybody. <laughs> hey, my car must have been running good that day. Now, and that's something else too. Is you know, like, like again, we talked about families and stuff like that, and, and it's a small community here. And PinkMail dot org is a local thing. It's something that Brock and you guys have created here. That that's local. That um, it, the money you raise does it stay here locally or, or what? Ah, uh, yes, it does, okay. Mike. We uh, donate it to the American Cancer Society. Okay. Uh, we get lump sums. We pile it together from our ads, from our auctions that are on there. And by the way, we just uh, added an automotive section to our auction because of your show. Okay, great deal. And a lot of uh, Gary, of course, spearheads uh, most of that kind of. Uh, Thing. And, of course, um, having you guys come in here, again, we appreciate it. And that's something Gary helped set up here to, to make sure you guys were able to come in here. And, and uh, we'd love to support, you know, pinkmail.org. Um, one of the questions I have, um, you know, of course, was how, how it was started and so on. But um, what would you like the future of pinkmail.org to be? Where do, What direction do you want it to go? And what, what do you see for it in the future? Well, we're going to grow it as big as we can, of course. We'd like to see worldwide, which we are starting to touch in about 17 different countries right now. Um, and we want to grow it to be as big as possible so that we can beat breast cancer. Okay. And by every email that somebody sends, they bring awareness. And by every ad they touch, just click on it, they help us with a donation through our ads and through our auctions. That auctions are completed. So we want to grow it as big as we can worldwide, and let's beat breast cancer worldwide. It's not just locally, but we concentrated mostly here in the Las Vegas area and Henderson okay. area. Yes. No, and that's something too. Um, you know, pinkmail.org 
like you said, is not just local, but you're in 17 different countries. That that's uh, pretty amazing. That well, it's amazing. like your show, Mike. It's it's all over the world. <laughs> all over the world. That's true. That's right, buddy. <laughs> we try to reach as many people as we can, right? <laughs> oh, you're doing a great job too. We really appreciate you having PinkMail.org here today. You know, and that's something else too. Is is it, it is secure? It's just like you said, Gmail or any other other site uh, that that provides email services. It's a secure site. You guys have. Nothing to do with anything that goes internally in these emails. No, that's it's, it's totally private. Uh, kept uh, the we have a bunch of security. We spend a lot of money on privacy and security and making sure that everybody's information is kept private. Also, to make it really quick, easy sign up steps. It's like four or five little steps you take. We don't even ask for all your information. We don't need your address and stuff like that. Unless, of course, you're going to do the auction, and then we have to have more information by law. Okay. But that's still protected, too. And, uh, yeah, we run a lot of security on it. Uh, we're going to make sure that we constantly update it and keep your information secure. Yeah, that, that's something that I was going to ask next was, you know, how easy it was to sign up. And what it, what's the process if somebody wants to go to pinkmail.org? And sign up. You just click on the uh, page, pinkmail.org, or Google it, whichever you want. We're all over the internet to find us. Facebook, or you can go Instagram. to the, the BomberNation.com Bomb- and click on go. the link. <laughs> That's right. And uh, soon we're going to have the Bomber Nation ad on our within our system, too. Maybe a couple of them the same thing so they can listen to your show, all our listeners. I mean, all of our emailers okay. with PinkMail. But, uh, yeah, you just go on there. You click in. You fill your name in. Uh, you pick a username. You pick a password. And you hit uh, create. Email. It's that easy. It takes all of anywhere from two to three minutes. I made it with simplicity and uh, user friendly. That that's very important in today's um, day of technology because nobody likes to wait. They don't like to fill out long forms. So it sounds like the perfect thing. You go there, just sign up for a quick email account, and start using it. Well, this one here, you don't even have to donate money at PinkBell.org. All you have to do is just use it in your daily online usage, just sending and receiving emails. Okay. And you help beat breast cancer. And again, it's it's free. You don't have to donate, but is there a chance for you to donate on there if you don't if you know any amount that you want to while you're using uh, pinkmail.org? Oh uh, yeah, you can donate money if you want to. Um we usually are looking more for the auction donations for items to be donated to the auction. And if you don't want to place them on there, it's for free to place them on there, of course, then you can send them to us and our address is on there for the donation and send a merchandise to us and we'll place them on there and then sell them off and use the money to now, beat breast cancer. So if they didn't want to use the auction though, it, can they just donate, you know, whatever amount they yes, want to? Okay. They sure can. They just mail it right into us. Okay. Um, do it. We are going to eventually put a donating button button up there, but until that I feel secure enough and okay. if we do it'll probably go right to the American Cancer Society okay. for that. Well wow, that's pretty pretty great. When when somebody has a, a pinkmail dot org email set up is it linked somehow to easily use the auction, pinkmail.org auction, or is that a separate process? Uh, no, it's uh, very easy because your username is going to be your login for the auction. All you do is okay. click at the top of the home page and click the auction, and it will automatically put you in there. Now, you do have to register one time with your address and stuff for the auction because we need to know who you a are. More and, information. Yeah, because okay. we're dealing with direct money, and right, we want to make sure right. everybody gets their merchandise. Okay. But, uh, yeah, same username. It's just a couple more steps if you do. And you only do it once. Once you do it, then it's just a matter of signing in for your email. Once you sign in, click on auction, and you're in. Okay. Sounds easy enough. And if you're a racer and you put an automotive <laughs> – <laughs> item on there. You want to make sure you shoot Gary an email because he's gonna he's actually gonna donate a dollar. Is that correct, Gary? Yes. For each item that is sold on the site, or yeah. is that each item put that on put on the site? So yeah. that even, that is, doesn't even have to sell. Just to to put that item on, you know, as a racer, Gary will match uh, or not match, but he'll he'll put up a dollar for each item that you put on there. And it's got to be you know can't be a, a lug nut. You know, a hundred lug nuts or something yeah, like, they, <laughs> like they told me they were going to do. <laughs> Thanks, JJ. We like to see we like to see JJ do that, but uh, just trying to support the cause. I know, I'd be curious if the I, lug nut sell. I want to. I want to see JJ take the time to do that. <laughs> That's what I want to see. If and, you, yeah. yeah, don't be surprised. <laughs> if you're just joining us, we, that was uh, we have Brock here from PinkMail.org and Justin Griffith here, the fellow uh, bomber racer. Of uh, 
Pinkmail.org. Well, well, and yeah, do you? Uh, is that a sponsor? I guess in, in some yeah. ways that that is something that you try to help promote is Pinkmail.org. That's my main sponsor, and uh, they helped a lot this year. So <laughs> yeah, we like hope it. hope that that follows through in this year. And uh, of course, we got race season just around the corner for a lot of people. Um, are you going to be racing with these guys out at uh, Crump Valley Speedway this weekend? Well, right now I plan, I just actually got a motor from another one of the racers. He gave it to me. So I have another car set, and I'm going to probably throw that motor in the car and go have fun out there. And Okay. Be my, my main focus is still the boring and the asphalt, you know. You're a fellow I'm asphalt sorry. guy. Hey, I, know, I, was, I, know, no. I know they hate it. but Hey, I'm, I'm a fellow asphalt guy. I'm with you. I get beat up by these guys all the time. So where, where can we get one of these free motors? That's what I want to know. <laughs> you Point know. us in the direction. <laughs> when you know Please. people. <laughs> Please. Yeah, Gary won't want it unless it's a Ford motor, so I don't know yeah, what kind of motors Chevy, these are. So. Uh, I'll, I'll take, take it. it. I'll take it. Too. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what kind of car are you driving? Right now I have a Monte Carlo. It's a 76 Chevy Monte Carlo. So yes. Sorry, Gary. I'm sorry. Yes. What What's your number? 42. 42. So if you are going to be out of LVMS, look for the, the 42 of Justin Griffith, and it's going to have pinkmail.org uh, somewhere on that the car, car. If, if not everywhere on that car. So you want to make sure you 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 cheer for him and really route, root for uh, Justin Griffith in the forty two car. Mike, you'll be able to see him. He's wearing a pink jumpsuit and he's about yeah. six foot five with a pink helmet. You will be able to see him. Okay. And yeah, don't he ain't gonna hide very easily. <laughs> no, they talk about him on the mics all the time out there about his jumpsuit that his mother bought him from pinkmail dot org. Well, there you go. I know I know I asked you this question before, Justin, but as old as I am I forgot. The forty two stands for what? Why you run the forty two now? Actually you never did ask me that, but that's a good question. My brother played football back in high school and he was forty two and then he got into racing first and he was forty two in the super stock, so we had a bunch of clothes made up, shirts and everything that said Griffith forty two racing was the name of the team, so it just was so kind of stuck you, with me. You got okay, the, the hand me down. I got the hand me down. <laughs> it's a family affair. Hey, you must be <laughs> the younger it. brother, though, right? Exactly. Uh huh. Now, we're, has, has your brother gone on to continue racing, or is he out of racing? Well, he actually just had a baby last week. So congratulations. Uh, yeah. And wow. then he got married, or he got married before that. that so neat. you don't have to say anymore. <laughs> no, just kidding. now you know why he's not racing. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I did loan him the car. I do have the extra car, so I told him. If I don't need it, he can he can go out and play. So <laughs> hey, Mike, he's almost catching up to you, man. We got extra cars, he, yeah, three motors, farm car three motors, yeah. Yeah, three motors, extra cars. Yeah, now we know who to call, Gary, when I need one. No, he deals in Chevy stuff. <laughs> I drive Chevys. No well, problem. Sorry. Well, I noticed the Chevys on on the ground on its on its wheels, and the Ford is up on no, jack stand. They're so. both Ford. Okay. Oh, that one's not. Oh, that's right. That is a Ford. Huh? Mm-hmm. No, he just got his done first. The okay. bosses are always last, right? <laughs> if, of course, uh, you can go to thebombernation.com to find out more information on upcoming races. Um, you got uh, Prump Valley Speedway coming up here this weekend. Is that That's correct? Right. And you guys are going to We start racing. the season. February right. 1st. Yep. Now, first of 23 races for us this year. I remember nine weeks ago, if or whatever, around that time, you guys talking about how many weeks you have left, and here it is. You're down to days. We're we're on the four day program now. <laughs> now wait a minute. I mean, we're on the on the bombernation dot com. You actually have a counter that's counting down the days till that race. So you might want to go on your website and and see uh, what you have on there. I, I'm on pinkmail dot org right now. Okay. Hold on. Now um, I'm at the point where it's like I hope this is getting done. I hope this is getting done. I hope this is getting done. <laughs> well, for the asphalt rate races, they have a little bit more time, but that time's right around the corner, too. March, March 29th. Now, you guys have uh, open practice coming up March 15th, I believe, yeah, and 15th. pre-registration in the morning and then open practice. So is that something that you're going to be doing? Well, we plan to have me and my teammate, Tony Rieger, you know, he wants to really get his car out there and run some laps, and I should be out there right next to him. So, Well, and that's a good idea because sometimes – you know, when a car sits off season, you don't know what what what's happened to it. You know, it's good to shake it down and uh, make sure all the nuts and bolts are going to hold together. And and uh, that wall is non-forgiving. We all know that. I, know. <laughs> I learned that this year. 
Hey, Brock, uh, have you ever thought about jumping in one of these uh, type of race cars? <laughs> no, it goes too fast for me. Well, you don't, have, you don't have to go fast. You just got to wait for the – ask JJ. You just wait for the next guy like Thane Alderman to come back around. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. <laughs> now, if you haven't listened to that show, uh, Thane Alderman, one of our guests that was on a previous show, was talking about when the series first came out, the bomber stock division out of LVMS, it was it was actually introduced as kind of a rolling demolition derby. They were yeah. going to wet the track. They were going to have enduro That's races. That's what it was. Entertainment. And exactly. It's for entertainment. And one of the races that they had was uh, where they encouraged you to take out the guy that came. If you're you, getting lapped, you, you took to out, take the, out leader. The, the leader. That's what you did. <laughs> they watered the track down, 200 laps, and you take you find out who the leader was, and you went after him. I mean, it was a, half the field. I mean. I think the first race we had lined up like 52 some odd cars that we had this 200 lapper and uh half the field was demo guys all from the I mean it was set up for you know the guys from Demolition Derby uh something similar to an enduro cross but it was an an all out you know wreck wreck everything that you can right it was just I mean we it, David Stetzer said it in the drivers meeting yep. The object of this is to entertain the fans, and whoever is in the lead is subject to being taken out. Exactly. Okay, that's what I heard. <laughs> you know, I was there. I heard the same thing. And One thing that disappointed us is I built a car. It was a bomber car for my son. At the time, they were saying that they were going to allow 14-year-olds to race, not 16. And, of course, when it came down to it, up to the time it was ready to race, they changed it to 16, and which was sad for us because I had my kid out there doing all the work, stripping the car down. It was it was a car we got from the Nevada and Pickup Park. And that's what kids are for. Yeah, and that's exactly. <laughs> hey, I was just going to say, that's the way you lured, lured him into <laughs> stripping the car. That's right. I had him strip the car. And, and let me tell you, them. I mean, it was a Monte Carlo, about 76, I'm you sorry. said. <laughs> yeah, same, same year, uh, Monte Carlo. And uh, let me tell you, there's not a lot of plastic on those. There's a lot of metal in them. There really is. You know, it, there was, they're really good cars. And uh, he was out there. Cutting his fingers and stripping things, and he's 14 at the time. So. <laughs> I feel bad now. But, uh, no, you don't. Hey, liar. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyways, I know um, before we had you guys on, we we were talking about PinkMail.org, and we had a few questions that came up. You know, I know I don't know if JJ still has some of those fresh in his mind. Yeah, I would. I was hoping that Brock, you could just walk me through. I got a couple questions now. Sure. I have a race car. Okay. I want to sell the race car. All right. Okay. Now, my one option is just donating the race car, and you put it up for auction. You take all the proceeds. That's correct. Okay. Say I have, I want a minimum of $2,000 I'd like to get for the race car. Then I can give you anything over 2000 that you get on auction you can have I just get my two thousand reserve. You put a reserve on when it goes up on auction? If if that's the way you want to do it, yeah. Oh, There's several do it different like... ways. Yeah. We have reserves okay. you can sit as well. Or you can put it up there and uh it's nothing to put an item up for auction like a race car in the automotive section or parts or whatever. It costs nothing. It only costs you something once the auction is completed and you make the sale. Then we get fifteen percent of whatever the sale is. And that goes right to breast cancer. That is correct. Okay. I mean, you had said earlier, American Cancer Society. So I don't need to contact you at all. I put a vehicle up. I want $2,000, and you're going to take 150 bucks. That's correct. After the sale, if I get my two thousand, actually, actually that'd be three hundred bucks. Oh, uh, at okay. I'm sorry, three hundred. There goes my math. That's okay. I, 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 uh, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> That's the, a good the thing. The mind goes first. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the mind, the ears, the eyes. So I can just put a car up, and if I get three thousand for that, you take fifteen percent from three thousand. Be four fifty. And be four fifty. There you go. Now, say I just want two thousand. Say okay. I give you. Say I give you a vehicle and say, here's the vehicle. I want 2000 Anything after that is yours. It can do that, too. Yes, you can. Uh, what happens is once an auction is completed, 
Um, we get 15%, you get 85% of whatever the sales price is. Then there's going to be a prompt that comes up and it says, would you like to donate some, all, or none of the remaining money to breast cancer? Oh, okay. So right. you have a choice of either keeping the 85% of what your sell price was for yourself, or you can donate half, 10%, uh, half, third of it, whatever you decide, or none of it. So it's up to you. All right. Very good. Uh, now, I don't have to bring you this vehicle. No, not at all. You okay, just put it right send, online. I, I send you pictures of it, sign up, and put a $2,000 reserve. And how many days? Do I have the choice of how many days it's up there or yeah, how you, many hours or months? You can, or? you can set the days just like on eBay. Okay. Basically, what we've done is we, we've combined uh, Gmail and eBay into one with pinkmail.org to help breast cancer. So just like with eBay on pinkmail.org's auction, you can set how many days you want the auction to go for up to a certain amount. If it doesn't sell within that or you don't get your reserve, you can restart the auction again by just resetting the days again. Okay, very good. That was my right. question, how to do something. You know, race car parts, you know, I start with a race car. Right. You know, we have race cars out there that are uh, – Advertised on uh, the bombernation.com, yeah, yeah. and we know exactly. we know a couple of people down in Pahrump that are looking to sell right. their race cars. You know, you know, and, and that and brings up a good point. Maybe with some of the people on the bombernation.com to help encourage them to put those same parts and cars up for sale on, right. on pinkmail.org auction. So you know, you put it up for sale in there, or you can put it up. You know, there's a possibility like I get a free motor. <laughs> right. You <Yeah>. know, <laughs> I get a free motor and I want to help, you know, breast cancer because the sponsor right. helped me tremendously last year. And right. I can just put the motor up and then you say, decide whether I want to donate it all or none of it or 10% of it. That's correct. You, you have that choice at the end down. of the auction. This is a whole nother outlet. Right. For everybody out there, especially in the racing world. I mean, we offer it up on the Bomber Nation. You know, but then you private message back and forth. This is another outlet, especially if I want, now, you know, $1,000 for a now car, I have a question. And, and it goes higher than that. As a buyer, can I also donate? Let's say I bought something on that auction, and let's say I, I bought this car that JJ has for sale. Um, can I also, as a buyer, donate, uh, you know, yes. some, some money? You can donate it, uh, any, all, or none of it. Okay, the same, you sure the same can. way. You got the person that's buying, once the auction is completed, it will prompt them uh, also, at that okay. time. Do you want to donate some, all, or none of the remaining money? But mm -hmm. keep in mind, 15% is already gone, so yep. you only have 85. So on 100 bucks, you would get 85, and then it will prompt you on that. So if you wanted to give the 85, you would just click all, and, of course, it would go right into breast cancer. Okay. All right. That's, you're you're helping yeah. a couple guys that still have MySpace here. No. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm computer <laughs> illiterate. You know, I I'm not on eBay. I don't you know buy on eBay or I don't I don't shop through the computer. I let I let the wife do the Amazon thing. You know. Well, you know, we did just for you, just for you. I remember you remember America Online, don't you? AOL. Yeah. AOL. yeah. You remember how you? Is to that say, what those letters yeah. stand for? America. AOL. AOL. It was yeah. the actual first email system that went out worldwide and became very popular. And it used to go when you had an email show up, it go you got mail. Yeah. Right. Well, now pinkmail.org, as long as you have your browser open and like people leave it open all day and overlap it with other screens, if you get an email, it'll say you've been pinkmailed to let you know right. verbally. Cool. That has got it. So we went old school just for you old school guys. <laughs> hey, wow. Something you you're go. familiar with, JJ. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm going to have to get the computer going again. That doesn't work because the critter, the mouse, in which I call a critter that's sitting uh, with a milk crate with the screen on the side. And, you know, maybe is there something bigger than a 50 Six K modem or something, whatever so you guys are talking ooh, about. You're, you're really showing your age, <laughs> yeah, right now, JJ. <laughs> you're showing modem. your age. <laughs> now, if JJ still hey, has I dial just, up, I just, I, okay. just, I just got rid of my green screen <laughs> last year, man. <laughs> wow. I did upgrade. <laughs> if somebody signs up for the auction itself, do you automatically get a, an, an email account, or each one has to be signed up separately? Uh, well, you when you sign up for the email, your username becomes your auction username auction. as well. But not so, vice versa? If no. You do no. the auction. 
But you can go directly to the auction and fill out. You won't have an email account, but you're still going to have to pick a username for okay. the auction, just like any other place, like so eBay has. You, you have to have something that okay. identifies you. So you might as well do the do the email and then use yeah, the same username yeah, no. for the auction. But it's, you can do it. It's free. One. Why not? Yeah, okay. it's free. And it's at the same place. It's very easy. It's just a couple of steps, you know, and you're, you're supporting breast cancer no. just by sending and receiving emails. Right. And, that, and that's something that, that's very important that – you know, we we tend to miss. Is sometimes it's not just about the money transaction, but it's about the awareness of the disease itself, and that's something that PinkMail.org does do. It, it and Mike, the work. reason I designed it that way was again, I built this system based off my sister lost her breast to breast cancer, and she was we're country folks, we live out in the country. Her doctor told her that if she would have come in sooner and knew of the treatments that was available and knew about breast cancer, she would have never lost her breast. So that hurt me, and that's why I built right. it. And, and again, that is something that, that's, you know, um, you just can't put words to that, that you've proactively done something to help raise awareness, you know, for this. And sometimes the dollar part of it gets in the way of what the real – Meaning is is the awareness of it, and, and being just just thinking about it, being aware of it helps, um, you know, put p push people in the right direction to get get checked out, and not just breast cancer, but any kind of cancer. I know, you know, w many of us have uh, family members that have lost their lives to to cancer of some kind or another. I know my wife's mother had passed away with lung cancer, and of course, I'm sorry to hear that. Gary recently, um, you know, lost has has a loss to. And his brother to to cancer and you know just the awareness of it and, and not just breast cancer but you know if it's very important if you're especially in a cause like this it's just to be aware it, get involved with some type of charity of some type because it's going to help in more than just a, a, a you know dollar donation it helps in many ways whether it's a charity of your choice uh, may not be cancer it could be something else that 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 um, you're passionate about. Uh, you know, just just get involved in, in the charity. So, but uh. that's right, Mike. It's uh, very important. Uh, this is something that uh, everybody should support. They should get on PinkMail.org and uh, check it out. Yep. And we're going to go ahead and go to a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to be talking again with uh, Brock, Justin, and the silent partner over here, uh, Susan of uh, PinkMail.org. So we'll see you when we get back. TheBomberNation.com is your website for all the latest local racing news. If you are a race car owner, a driver, or a passionate fan of racing, TheBomberNation.com is a site you'll want to add to your favorites list. Check out the message board, track schedules, special events, links, and our sponsors. The Bomber Nation, one sport under one nation. TheBomberNation.com Gentlemen, start your engine! That's the sound of On Wheels Now, every Tuesday at 6 p.m. If you like cars, the smell of gasoline and rubber, or just love motorsports and auto racing, On Wheels Now is your inside look at local motorsports. So don't miss the action. We'll keep you in the loop with the latest local racing news. We're race car drivers, too. So join me, Michael, and Mike, Tuesday at 6 p.m. Find us at onwheelsnow.com. Pahrump Valley Speedway, where, I said, Pahrump Valley Speedway, your local dirt track. Take the kids or just get out of town for a night of exciting dirt track action. This quarter-mile diamond in the desert is just over the hump in Pahrump, the place to be on Saturday night. With mini socks, IMCA mods, cam coops, and more, there's something for everybody from valleyspeedway.com. Nevada Pick Apart. Who? Nevada Pick Apart. Do you have a used car or a truck just sitting in the driveway taking up space looking ugly and tired of looking at it? Are you moving and can't take your car or truck with you? Did you buy a new car or truck and want to get rid of the old one? Contact Nevada Pick Apart. 702-644-1881. That's 702-644-1881. Sell Nevada Pick Apart, your used or old vehicle, and see it gone tomorrow. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. And we are 
we're back, and you're listening to onwheelsnow.com. And, of course, we have uh, the founders here of uh, pinkmail.org. And, of course, as usual, when the mics go off, the the talking starts. So <laughs> we do want to throw a, a, the call-in number out there. If you have questions yourself and you want to call in and ask anybody here a question, especially JJ or Gary, we, we prefer you call Gary after Or Brock midnight. or Justin. <laughs> or we encourage questions uh, for Susan. Uh seven oh two six eight five eight one one six that's six eight five eight one one six. And again, my question is now what's Susan's role in this? I hear she's a promoter, <laughs> but she don't like to talk. <laughs> How does that work, Susan? She's nodding. Well, let me, answer, let me answer that for her, Mike. Susan does play a very big and instrumental role in it. She not only helped us fund it as well as myself funding okay. it, but She's very instrumental in the Facebook, the social media part, going to the events and signing people up. So she's not as quiet as she's being tonight, but right. uh, very, very grateful that we have her on the team and part of the ownership. She does own part of pinkmail.org, and it wouldn't have became without Susan. So well, we're very thankful that she's got to come And that brings up to a come very, very good point that there's a lot of behind-the-scenes things that go on here. And you said you created the website as a webmaster, I That's guess. That's correct. And, you know, and there's other things like what Susan and does and, and you know little other things not they're not little by by any means you know even the sponsorship uh, of a race car you know to, to get the name out there get the awareness out there and I you know I'm just uh, pulling Susan's leg there I'm uh, trying to get her to to talk but uh, hey I did you know, my job I told me. <laughs> you know everybody has their their uh, role in in uh, something like this, and and there's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes sometimes. Oh yeah, that, she, that and Susan's see. very important, Mike. Believe me, we, we we couldn't have done it without her. Pink Mail, thanks for all of our emailers that's out there, and um, all the money we're raising. That you can believe, she is very very important. We wouldn't want anyone else other than her, but we'll take other people. <laughs> you know what? And growth, like you said, you know, to to grow and then to grow that awareness is is very important. Uh, you know, to pingmail.org, and that's something that, you know, you can go to thebombernation.com, click on the link there, it'll take you right to, uh, you know, the pinkmail.org website, and don't forget, it's .org, pinkmail.org. Yeah, not yeah, .com. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got it yeah. wrong last time. <laughs> yeah. And you just want to make sure you get that right, it's easy to sign up, you, you just go there, you know, put it in your favorites, uh, you know, that way you, it's easy access. And anytime you want to put something up, you know, for sale, if you're thinking about putting some up on the bombernation.com, uh, you know, go ahead and go over to pinkmail.org and and sell it on the auction there. So, I got another uh, question for Brock in regards to you had mentioned something to me about FaceTime or Facebooking or Yeah, we're constantly uh, being innovative with what, what, what are you integrating or what's in the future in regards to that website? Um, well, what we're doing is we just added, as I said, you know, the verbal uh, vocal notification that you've been pink mail telling you and then notifying you that you have uh, an email available that just showed up on your system. We've also got in the works in the next few months uh, called Nose to Nose. And what this is basically, it's like FaceTime on your phones and on your computer, but you're going to be able to see, let's say that you have a brother, sister, cousin, or some family member or friend out on the East Coast that has breast cancer and they're getting chemo, you'll be able to actually nose to nose. And I say nose to nose because when you're looking at somebody on a video screen, you're actually looking at their nose. <laughs> That's a good so point. we're naming it nose to nose right. instead of face to face. Okay. You know, our FaceTime. And uh, you'll be able to see what they look like. You'll be able to see their body language, read them in real time, just like Skyping. You know, seeing somebody on Skype and talking to them. You'll be able to do that. <laughs> they, they don't know that. It's the same thing. But, yeah, that is coming, and we've got we've got uh, four or five more additions. We're constantly adding to this system, and it, it's going to constantly grow and continue to grow. We're going to bring the fun back into emailing and raise a lot of money for breast cancer and awareness. You know what? I hope to see this thing blow up bigger than, than you can ever imagine. This is something great that, that it's just – you know the, the the technology you're you're keeping up with and putting into this website it's it's pretty amazing so keep up the good work man wow. well we appreciate you having us guys here you know pinkbell.org is going to be around for a long long time and uh as i said we're over 43,000 users now the average person uses our system 20 times a month wow. now you do that times 43 and they look at an average of 7 pages per hit that's over 6 million impressions so that's a lot of advertising that the ads rotate through 
Right. And we're getting ready to put you guys up there. We'll get you a couple of ads, two or three, and link them to you for helping us out. And uh, we want to help you guys back out as well. So we appreciate you having us here. No, no problem. We appreciate it. Um, Just so you know, uh, JC Motorsports is 100% supporting this. Well, we appreciate it. And that's something that Gary has said for from the first time you, you know he's talked about this with you guys that's something that he's going to be passionate about and uh and back you guys uh, well we'll back you guys the, the same way i mean it's it we'll put you up on there as much as we can and promote you to everybody and we are worldwide now you know and and i know we're off the air when we're on break you're talking about some different numbers and you know not all always good numbers but uh you know you're you're a numbers guy obviously you know uh, all about the numbers you want to tell us some of the the stats that that we're dealing with here sure um well you know it's one of the things of, that we're trying to do to bring awareness to it and by bringing awareness to breast cancer of how many cases there are in the united states alone and the numbers i'm talking about just refer just to the united states not the rest of the countries around the world but in 2013 there was over 300,000 new cases of breast cancer alone diagnosed there was over 40,000 women estimated to die in 2013 just from breast cancer and over 2,000 men was expected to be diagnosed with breast cancer in 2013. Wow. And that's going to increase as men start getting checked out and getting mammograms just like women do when they get over their fear. That number will increase. So breast cancer is increasing, and we just need with technology and awareness to start knocking those numbers down and beating it, not just dealing with it with mammograms. We need to get genetic testing going on, right. and that's our next phase. We want to go up to the uh, state legislatures and lobby them to get genetic testing done because mammograms will show you that you have breast cancer after the fact you have it. Right. Genetic yeah. testing will show that you will be getting breast cancer so that you can take you know steps to save your life. Correct. Okay. Now, and that that brings up a good point is not just awareness to, to you know, um, but for the research to, for prevention, um, not just for after you get, you know, uh, are diagnosed with it. And you bring up a good point, too, is more males are starting to get checked out and obviously are, are um, being diagnosed with breast cancer and so on amongst women also. That is correct. And if you go to our Facebook page of Facebook slash org, you'll see that we posted on there several men that have had breast cancer. One of them had his breast completely removed. But his wife still, she posted and said her lovely husband, I just almost made me tear up that she still loved this guy. And, he, and believe me, it wasn't a sight to really look at it first. But then when you sure. think about it, hey, he's still here and he's somebody to love. And his wife was willing to share that for us. And so we posted and promoted it on Pinkmail on okay. Facebook. Okay. And is your uh, Facebook link on your uh, Pinkmail.org website? Can they get there? Oh, yeah. All you got to do is go up to the top. All the icons are there for Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter. Um, gosh, you know, I, I, I saw I Instagram. Saw, yeah, there's I a whole this, bunch of them. I saw this website once. They had all the links on there, and there must have been a, I don't know, a hundred different Pinterest and and Facebook and all these other things, and you can't keep up with them all. I know JJ can. MySpace. <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> He's still on one. Yeah. Well, just so you know, I mean, you was talking about stats. Uh, we have two different Pinterest boards. Um, that we go on, and between the two, we're registering about 12,000 followers already. Okay. On Instagram, we're over 2,000, and uh, Facebook, I think we're over 12,000 likes right now, so wow. we're growing, and we're getting better, and, and more and more people are becoming aware of it, and they're starting to pay attention because they're signing up. We're okay. gaining users daily, that so is... it is a growing entity. Not as many as I'd like, but uh, you know, once we start doing more ads online, which is what we found where we need to put our ad dollars at, like with right. you guys with radio and stuff that are online, um, it's going to grow and continue to grow because all people got to do, you hand them a card, they'll sign up. Exactly. You know, it's like racing. You, once you get that first win, that momentum in that right direction just keeps going. You know, and I think that's something that's going to happen. Well, you, you know, know, we are in a race to beat breast cancer, so why <laughs> exactly. not better? There you Be go. on a racing site that's promoting us, and, uh, you know, we, we were really appreciative of that. So, yeah, it goes hand in foot, race cars and the race to be breast cancer, and I think it's great that y'all allow us to be here and y'all promote us. And we appreciate you being here. And, you know, if you're just joining us, we have Brock here, pinkmail.org. Um, you can go to the bombernation.com website also, click on the link there to get to it. But, you you, you know, you have a free email, free secure email, and obviously an auction site there at pinkmail.org where you can sell any item 
you'd like on there, and a portion of that goes, if not all, if you want to go to uh, the prevention of uh, breast cancer and to the American Cancer Cancer uh, Society. So, but uh, anyway, this is something you brought up, Bach. Is you know, it's a race to beat breast cancer, and this is something uh, that Chad Broadhead and the Broadhead family down at Prompt Valley Speedway. Uh, Which are the promoters down there. Promoters down at Prompt Valley Speedway held just last year uh, our second uh, race for cancer, which uh, should be scheduled again this year. It would be the third time, right, Gary? Yes, Relay for Life. Relay for Life. uh, So uh, racing up against breast cancer is uh, very important, especially – the track that JC Motorsports run on down in Pahrump, Uh that's uh, put together, if I'm not mistaken, Gary, by the Busicks, isn't Busick, it? Yes, uh, just Justice Busick. Okay, and uh, that's important. And as Gary uh, said before, uh, JC Motorsports is uh, behind and fully supporting Pink Mail as uh, you know. You, we have now on our cars, both yeah. of our cars, uh, going back and forth to Pahrump from Las Vegas uh, 23 times this year, back and forth, right. 46 <laughs> times all <laughs> told. Wow. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people that are going right. to see the back of our race cars with that pinkmail.org uh, logo, that logo you there. You know what? And, and, and we're, it, we're, we're proud to run it. If you have a charity site and you want an email account, that's a perfect match for you. Go to pinkmail.org and, and have your own you know, um, charity with the pinkmail.org website or something like that. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of businesses that sign up. Um, I I mean, my analytics tell me, and analytics is what tells you what your website's doing, who's signing up, what countries, how much time people spend, and so forth. When I go on that and I look the other day, uh, Time Warner actually had 27 accounts they set up in one day. Time Warner did. So when I see that from one IP address, I know that it's a business, and I checked it out, and they they set up – um, I'm pretty sure it was 27. It could be 24, so don't quote me on the 27, but it was either 24 or 27 accounts they set up at one time. Okay. So businesses can come on there, hospitals, uh, cancer sites, things like that, not just individuals as well. And just so you know, we are working, and my partner don't know this yet, so I'm going to blind her. <laughs> right. we, we got it on the air first. Go ahead, Doc. <laughs> and this is going to be big now. This is going to be big because we're going to enlist casinos and racing companies and stuff like that. Um, you know how everybody has walks and stuff for cancer and runs. Well, I'm interested in getting out to the motor speedway out there and having rollerblading in October. Wow. Wow. For breast cancer for pinkwell.org. Cool. <laughs> and that's something I hadn't told her about yet, but uh, I've been working on that for about three weeks now, which she knows I just come out with a new phone app, too, for our company and so forth to expand and help breast cancer. So we're working on that. But that's going to be fun. Everybody else is doing runs and walks. We're going to do a rollerblading. Right. Now, I'm hoping I can get the track out there. You know, All right. You know, well, so that's what we're looking at. Maybe Sue doesn't want to speak on the radio, but we can see her on a pair of rollerblades. <laughs> uh, she's certainly okay. giving me the evil eye. <laughs> she's how much that's going to cost. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Sue. I'm always the last to know everything, too. So, <laughs> You know what? And, and keep uh, in tune. You know, to us here also at the pinkmail.org website and also the bombernation.com and and uh, keep an eye out for that. That's going to be a very entertaining uh, event there. I'm looking forward to hearing more about that as it as, as hey, it develops. Uh, Brock, I will get JJ on some rollerblades if if you pan that out <laughs> no. at the motor <laughs> No, and the, and the straight line. I'll do the four, the four <laughs> wheels. Not in, not in line. <laughs> hey, I I will. You get me size 13. Okay. We'll, I will roller skate. We'll uh, hey, not, not rollerblading. Hey. Tim Tim can make you some roller Wait, skates. Hold on. <laughs> I I will. I'm going to find him some 13 wooden. Four wheel, <laughs> do that. Uh, uh, find them. Okay. I would be more than happy, Brock. If you get it set up there, you let me know. Gary's going to get me a pair of skates, and I will be out there on roller skates with you. We're going to hold that to you. Yes. Okay, but listen to this I will, now. The I reason we are rollerblading is instead of four wheel skating is because the tracks are slanted. Oh come on, he's got to have Think a handicap. Think about your knees, and with that slant <laughs> on that track. 
the rollerblades can handle it. The four is going to be hard, but hey, if you can come and do it on those wooden skates, God bless you. It'll raise money for best. I got a crew in. chief that'll be able to set up caster and camber for me, no problem. Uh, guys, we're going to pull this we'll off. Be, we'll be able to shave those wheels down on the left side, no problem at all. Lighten up those skates and now, change those ball bearings. <laughs> no, we'll 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 get them going. Now, if anybody wants to help put this together, how can they get a hold of you, Brock? Um, what's your email? address uh well you can uh, call me at my phone at 702-372-2375 or you can email me at mbrock at pinkmail.org brock at pinkmail.org and that's um, b-r-o-c-k mbrock b-r-o-c-k oh mbrock M- yeah m-b-r-o-c-k at pinkmail.org okay and what was that phone number again um 702 702- Three seven two, twenty three seventy five, and that's Mike Brock. Just okay, and that's your uh, cell cell number. That is correct. You okay. can reach me there personally. And yeah, we're looking. To, uh, we're going to have some bands out there. We're trying to get. Um, we're going to have the course, the race car, the pink male car is going to be out there. Maybe you can bring your cars out there for the guys because <laughs> it is the racetrack. And uh, we're going to have other vendors out there as well. You know, we'll have food vendors. And then, of course, we're going to have people come in to rollerblade, and we'll be the first one now, to do this, this as far is, as I know. Now, this is a good time for us to hear from Susan. No. <laughs> I don't shocked. see that Wait happening. I think she said she's shocked. I'm shocked. <laughs> I don't know why. You know I'm constantly growing us. <laughs> you know what? And, that, and that's very important. And, and, you know, the surprises are actually good because they, they, they bounce off each other. I know Gary's wheels are always spinning, and uh, I know J.J. has some things. He's always thinking about helping and with, you know to do with kids and things like that. That uh, these guys are constantly trying to help the community, and we're all about local. You know, we we like to talk about local racing, local community, local businesses, and and you know guys like yourself that help spearhead something that that's really meaningful. So well, we not only just sponsor with breast cancer. I mean, we'll also donate. We've donated to the Henderson Police Department for their golfing tournaments for okay. cancer. Uh, for kids, as well as the uh, cancer for kids out at the Speedway out there. So the, the money that you guys bring in helps in more than just one way. You guys spread it around to, to other local businesses also. Yeah, that's correct. We don't, we're don't. we not just locked in just strictly to the American Cancer Society, but they get the bulk of what we do bring in. And right. they've been very instrumental in helping us and promoting us as well locally. Uh, we was involved in their run here last October which we plastered all over all our social media. So, you know, we work with them as well because they got the walks that they do for breast cancer, which is helps us get a little more marketing out there and branding as well. So they work with us. We work with them. And then, of course, we work with Cancer with Kids, whatever we can do to beat cancer, period. But mostly we're dedicated towards breast cancer, but that don't mean we're solely. Okay. I know. JJ, I know you've been chomping at the bit. No, there. it's uh, it answered my <laughs> questions with the website and everything. You know, you know I, uh, I know Justin's been waiting to, to get some time in here. We, you know, I, I missed the last show. Like I said, I, I I'm sorry I missed that. And I know, uh, you know, sometimes uh, to get around JJ is tough. We're good. I got I got like twenty questions for Sue, but that's okay. been taken well, off the table. So yeah, all my but questions no, are for it's, Susan uh, too. So what's going no, on it's, here? No, it's it's just great to have Brock in here. Uh, no, I'm I'm really happy uh, that JC Motorsports is going to be supporting this this year, and, and that, uh, again, that's something look that... for a full run and uh, continued relationship for a long time. And that's something that get Gary. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. I was just going to thank him for that because we're looking for a long term relationship with you guys too. You, you, you've helped us a lot and helped us promote it and getting the word out. And we just really want to thank the Bomber Nation. Okay. And make sure you go to the BomberNation.com website. Click on the link there. You can also go to the message boards on there. And if you're a racer, I know um, I'm sure Justin's been on there. Um, see who's talking about you, or if you want to talk about another <laughs> racer? There's always some kind of. Uh, uh, crap talk going back hey, and now forth. Now you hear Justin <laughs> speaking over there. Okay. You know, go ahead. Like I said last time, I'm keeping my mouth shut about that. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's a place for you to voice your opinion, right, wrong, or indifferent. It's somewhere to go for you, for you as a racer to, uh, you know, to go. And if you want to call in and, and be on our show and hey, and hey Justin, look at it, it the way I look at it. As long as they're talking about me, they're not talking about nobody else. Exactly. <laughs> that's all that matters. Okay that's a good that thing. <laughs> 
we got to work on getting Sue on here, though. She needs to start doing these. Sue is actually our director of marketing and president of marketing for PinkMail.org. So. Well, she'll come around. Well, with any luck, this ain't the last time you'll be on. You'll come back on with a lot more numbers for us. Uh, you guys let me know anytime, and I'm very thankful again that you wanted me here. And uh, just go to my marketing director over here, Sue. She's the one that got me here tonight. <laughs> well, we need to. We'll have a we'll have a condition attached to that next time. That she'll well, have to speak to. <laughs> hey Sue, just so you know, I again, I did my job. We're we're, no, we're going to want to hear updates, uh, definitely yep. from you. We're going to want as soon as uh, you firm up this uh, rollerblading uh, for cancer. Uh, once you get that locked in and a date and time, uh, you got to let us know so we can put it out there on onwheelsnow.com and uh, broadcast it on every Tuesday night in between six and seven. We're you know, like I said, dot com across the world. I like it. I like it. Thank you guys. Yeah, we'll get Justin back on here and get some more uh some uh talk time. <laughs> you got about five minutes, Justin. There you go. It's all about pink mail right now. Okay. Are there other businesses that you'd like to talk about or thank real quick while we got a couple minutes? Um or you know, we pretty much wrap that up. I know these guys uh have some sponsors. I know Nevada Pick Apart is a big um influence in the entertainment type divisions like the bombers, of every stocks. bomber driver. Yeah, exactly. So you want to go to uh, Nevada Pick Apart uh, dot com. Uh, look, look for your parts online there. You can find two locations there. They got one on Lamb and one in Henderson. And, and you want to go to Nevada Pick Apart. It costs you a dollar to get in. That's it. Go find your parts. Get your car going. Talk to Steve if you have to down there. Steve Burke. He's been a friend of racing for many years. Yeah, so. Yep, uh, Anthony at Camp Out. Want to thank him for all uh, that he does for us. Uh, need uh, trailer parts, uh, toolboxes, uh, campers, trailers, just tow trailer. They got everything uh, possibly available for you. That's Anthony at Camp Out. Mike at Reliable Banner. Got to thank him for all the stuff he does for us. And don't forget when you're in Pahrump, of course, Pahrump Valley Speedway's race this weekend. Correct. That's a yes. 3 p.m. race, yep. day race. So if you're going to be anywhere, be there. You know, you got Super Bowl Sunday coming too. So the day before, you want to go out to the track. You're going to want to stop at GNS Pit Stop uh, Food Truck out there. Where's that going to be located? Uh, right across from Saddle West on 160. So as you're coming into town, it'll be on your right hand on side. your right hand side across from Saddle West. Saddle West. We got, we got any specials going on uh, for uh, Saturday uh, night after the races? Yes, after the races. Before and after. Uh, yes, well, after the races, if you show <laughs> your uh, uh, stamp from okay. the racetrack, you get $2 off of whatever you order. Or your wristband from or the your, pits. Yep, or your wristband, yep. All right, cool. That's a deal. And that's that that's GNS pit stop. It's a food truck. White. You can't miss it. It's going to be parked out there, uh, well lit, I'm sure, yep. with flashing lights and you get your flashing lights on there? Yep. Okay. With flashing and, lights. <laughs> and look for the pinkmail.org sticker that's going to be going up on oh, there this week. See? So that, oh. there you go. And, again, uh, Gary is also, you know, taking this upon himself also to donate a dollar for every item as a racer that you post at pinkmail.org auction. Uh, so you're going to want to do that. And uh, let Gary know. He'll he'll make sure that uh, that money gets donated also. Oh, I'm going to keep track of that for him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry, I haven't. Uh, JJ, I think I'll keep track of that. Too now. <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody has to. Bro. <laughs> well, now we got witnesses here. We've got, we've got the, the, the man in charge here, Pink Mail. Oh, and so. those wooden roller blades. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Now, roller blades, skates, roller skates, skates, the four skates. skates. Yeah. I will be more than happy to enjoy it. You get me roller four wheels, <laughs> not in a row. Okay. I'll get out there, size 13. I'll get you out there. You do know that if I get them, they're going to be pink. <laughs> That's fine with me. Okay. Y'all heard it. Me. JJ's going to wear pink <laughs> yeah. roller skates. That's and fine with me. Coming I'll event. even, I'll even, Justin, you want to, you want to loan me a jumpsuit? Go ahead. <laughs> All right. There we go. How about a pink and helmet? helmet. Too? Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to need the helmet. You know, <laughs> no, no helmet. We want to see you. <laughs> we want to see you. There you go. All right. We'll get a clear helmet. No helmet. Yeah. Gonna you got to dye your hair pink. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'll do it. Okay. Oh, you hear it? Okay. I'll do it. I and remember the. I remember we got to get a hold. Flag. Of, we got to get a hold of Tiffany. Wouldn't be the first time that I painted my hair. I remember I, the American flag. I, I, no helmet. I yeah. You remember the American, the American flag. flag? I painted wow. it uh, black, so purple, and that? silver. JJ, I like that. JC, we're gonna have JJ with pink hair. But I want to thank you guys from PinkMail.org for being here. 
Um, you, you know, if you want to find out more, go to thebombernation.com. Join us live every Tuesday, 6 p.m. We're here for you as racers and uh, anything on wheels. We're here at onwheelsnow.com for you live every every Tuesday at 6 p.m. So, yep. We'll One other time oh. out there, DNN Equipment, yep. Dale and Nick at DNN Equipment uh, for helping us out. And thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for having PinkMail.org here. No yep. Glad to have you and glad to be on board with you. <laughs>